Psychoactive drugs are any drug that alter our consciousness by affecting our nervous systems. There are three types of these drugs, stimulants, depressants, and hallucinogens. Stimulants speed up and increase the activity of our nervous system. These range from something as innocent as the caffeine found in your morning coffee to something as hardcore as cocaine. Depressants are drugs that slow down or decrease the nervous system's activity. These include all types of alcohol and opiates, such as a heroin. Hallucinogens are drugs that cause the user to experience hallucinations, which are sights, sounds, and sensations that aren't really there. These include LSD and the psilocybin found in mushrooms. Dependence is the state where individuals must continue to use a substance in order to satisfy physical and emotional cravings. If the user decides to stop using the substance, it would lead to withdrawal. Withdrawal is when the person develops symptoms of severe sickness due to the stop in the use of the addictive substance. Tolerance is the need of more of a substance in order to achieve the desired effect. Addiction is a biological and or psychological dependence for a drug. Howdy everyone. Welcome to We Smoker Wednesday. I'm out here about to show y'all some crazy stuff up going around here. So we got some stimulants, some depressants, and everything. You know. Well, I'm out here. I got me some uh, one of them fancy schmancy alcohol things. You know, we call this, in my day, we call this a depressant. I guess they just call this alcohol nowadays. You know, we just go ahead and put that on there right there. Get it nice and dandy. Right? Get that. Go ahead. Alright, now I'm about to show y'all how to apply this. What you want to do is go ahead and drip it all over yourself. I think that's the best way. TV won't tell you that. No one will tell you that. Actually, I got a little bit on the lens there. Get that off, y'all. Alright, what we got here? We got a stimulant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get that. Alright. Wow, what's that? Cocaine. Cocaine? This is my favorite stimulant. I guess that's... we all jump it. Jump it? Wow, that's crazy stuff. Well, he's out. What you got over here? This Whoa. Hallucinogen called LSD. I never seen that before in my life. That's crazy. But I'm just slurring my words now because I guess, you know, depressants, you know, what I took alcohol just makes you just slow your words and stuff. Now, let's check up on my friends over here. <laughs> We got my friend over here. He took some LSD. Uh, hey, I'm introduce my friends. This is Orange. Uh, all right. Well, we'll let him do his thing. Talk to his friends. LSD is a hallucinogen. Makes you hallucinate. <laughs> and then we got Speedy over here. Then I don't know what he think he's doing, but I know he took cocaine. That's about it. And cocaine is one of them. A stimulant so it'll actually stimulate your body and yeah he's just crazy well, anyway everyone we're out here uh, we're doing big things and uh, see you guys later the three major theorists for states of consciousness include Sigmund Freud William James and Ernest Hilgard for Freud his theory was that consciousness was split between the id superego and ego the id is the deepest part of consciousness that we are unaware of and control their deepest desires. If those needs are not met, it results in a state of tension. The superego is the part of consciousness that is responsible for our sense of right and wrong. Our ego is what we are aware of and deals with dealing with reality. Ernest Hilger's theory was that consciousness was split and that the two were unaware of each other. William James's theory was that consciousness was a stream and was always changing. Its main purpose was selecting on what to pay attention to. While an individual is in the state of hypnosis, they may experience a variety of behaviors or effects. These are referred to as hypnotic phenomena. These include dissociation, amnesia, and time distortion. Dissociation is when the person is split between their conscious and unconscious minds. Amnesia is the loss of the ability to recall or identify previously learned information. Time distortion occurs when the subject is unaware of how much time has passed between the time they went into and exited their state of hypnosis. They may severely overestimate the amount of time that's passed or severely underestimate it.
All right, now we're going to be talking about sleep. Basically, stage one, it happens when people initially fall asleep. So muscles relax, heart and breathing rate slow down, body temperature drops. This is also known as light sleep. Then you got stage two, which lasts about 20 minutes. This is also known as the sleep spindle stage. Sleep spindles are basically a sudden burst of brain waves. And then, of course, you have stage three and four, which are now classified under one umbrella. It lasts about 30 minutes. Slow breathing and heart rate. Muscles are limp. Um, and this is also where the sleepwalking occurs during these stages. Then, of course, you have REM sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement sleep. And this is also known as deep sleep. The brain. What's interesting is that the brain waves are actually as active as an alert person. And heart and breathing rates become irregular. And, of course, muscles are relaxed. Why do we sleep? That is a question. Uh, there's been many theories proposed over the years, but a couple theories are, number one, it's a way of conserving energy so you don't waste as much energy if you, as if you were awake. Number two, it's a way to be able to keep safe from predators because obviously when you're sleeping, you'll probably be away from predators so you don't have to worry about them. And number three, it restores body tissues that are depleted in the day. So during the day, uh, you destroy body tissues and it's a way of replenishing those body tissues. There are three very, very major sleep disorders. Number one is insomnia, which is when you have the difficult or inability to falling asleep and the treatment for that would be improving your sleeping habits maybe going to some sleep therapy or taking sleeping pills another sleep disorder would be narcolepsy which is falling asleep periodically randomly during the day uh, usually they prescribe medication for that by you know using stimulants or antidepressants uh, another very very major sleep disorder is sleep apnea which is basically um, when you're sleeping breathing stops and it's followed by a uh, gasp of air of you waking up uh, usually this is found in overweight uh, males. Usually people with sleep apnea are overweight, so a good way to get rid of sleep apnea is actually losing weight, or you can use a breathing assistance machine. And then of course lucid dreaming, where you can actually control your dream and what's happening around you. Alright mom, 